You know, when Vince, uh, when Vince was booted and there was all this talk about, my God, who will replace Vince McMahon? And Hunter was not in the role yet. And people were thinking, oh, God, who's it going to be? Like uh, Pritchard or the name that came up was maybe Jeff Jarrett? It was like, oh my God, how the how the world of wrestling, this soap opera, how things, how this great circle of wrestling turns. Well, Hunter's in charge, and Jeff Jarrett's gone. Jeff Jarrett's reportedly gone from WWE. PW Insider reported on Sunday, Jarrett, who held the position of senior vice president of live events, had departed his position. The belief was he finished his duties that past Friday, although they were not sure of the specific timeline. He's been in and out of WWE since 2019. For serving as a producer, a member of the creative team, exited the company during the COVID-19 pandemic, returned in his current role in May. He appeared at SummerSlam. Remember, he was a referee of the Usos and the Street Profits? Mm -hmm. For God only knows what reason. Then he showed up for Ric Flair's last match. (laughs) Pretty much outworked everybody in the ring. No. I don't know about that, but... uh, Well, he was close. He was very good in that match. Yeah. And uh, then earlier this year... Made an appearance at Game Changer Wrestling's first. Oh pay-per-view. my God! And this whole thing, all of Effie. this hullabaloo. Now he's gone to not do not a job me. to Effie. He went through all of this. Look how much well, money. He can now. Jeff Jarrett is is a hero of mine when it comes to professional wrestling. The ultimate survivor, a guy who I always liked. Who, yeah, he was pushed too hard at certain times in WCW and for some people's taste in the WWF, but. I've always really liked Jeff Jarrett, and talk about the ultimate survivor of pro wrestling. He really is, and the fact that he's been able to just be everywhere this year is a true testament to him. So, an amazing worker. I guess he's done with whatever he they're doing there. I guess he figures maybe it's too much. But, uh, yeah, I have a feeling we're not uh, probably have heard the last of Jeff Jarrett with something doing with professional wrestling, maybe even the WWE down the line. Big E says doctors are not worried about him leading a normal life. He is still not clear to wrestle. He's been recovering from the broken neck suffered on March 11. He appeared on Out of Character recently, said essentially the issue right now is my C1 is not completely ossifying, not completely forming into bone. It appears to be healing fibrously, so it's kind of contained enough. I'm not a medical expert. I'm going to butcher all these terms. But it's good enough that they're not worried about me in day-to-day life. I don't need the brace anymore. They took surgery off the table. I would be cleared to live a normal life. Man, I hope so. Cleared to live a normal life. I'm cleared to live a normal life, but I'm not cleared to be taking off and eating suicide spears and taking back bumps. Nature, what we do is very physical, involves your neck and your spine. I would like to keep that as intact as possible. So uh, they're going to basically wait, and at the one-year mark, they're going to do more scans and uh, find out how things are going. It's got no nerve issues, no tingling, no weakness. They told me as long as your neck is in the brace, as long as you stay in the brace, you're good for that. I've been working out. I feel great. I'm just really grateful. You know, Tom, it was abundantly clear this week that I just don't get enough respect. Excuse me? I feel I deserve a little bit of credit for your your recent success. You want to take credit for my victory in the G1 Climax? You can fuck off. Why don't you put your money where your little mouth is and get in the ring with me? No. If you, if you really want to take credit for this shit. There's a tweet from August 3rd. Who wants to make it happen? I'll team with Debbie Malenko. Why don't you call up Billy Starks and why don't you step in the ring against me and her, huh? I'll text yeah, her right. right now. I'll be in Chicago all out weekend. How about that? I'll call up Mikey. The Black Label? Yeah. Debbie, are you available all out weekend look at those arms brian's not even in ring shape for this show me yours tom huh look at this go back and forth huh go back jared put yours up go back 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 oh yeah who's not in ring shape now motherfucker she can't do it she can't do it she can't do it this is like when we grappled brian and you clearly tapped oh fuck off what a dick oh so now now you're getting fired up well, Fuck, dude. You know, we can settle this. God. You know, we can settle this. You meet me in Chicago. Buddy. I'm I'm in. You've agreed. Yeah, I've agreed because you don't have Basically. a fucking partner. I will beat dude. your ass silly. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm texting him right now. Mikey, by the way, okay. Yes, all caps. I'm not the only killer that you're going to be in there with, Brian. Killer Kelly. See you in Chicago. Although I, I was just alerted that the show is at 11 o'clock p.m., so I, I may have to pull out. That's past my bedtime. So if you're going all out weekend, Black Label Pro, Friday, September 2nd. I can't wait to beat your ass. Not going to happen. It's been years in the making.